sun's shining 24 7 because when we're together it feels like we're in heaven if it will get dark hello can i order some food please can i order a bowl of chips Excuse me, can I have magic mango please? Hello, can I pay by card? The A Little Falcon is a PCIe Gen 3 x 4 NVMe SSD supporting the NVMe 1.3 standard. It's backed by 5 years warranty. There are several capacity variants starting from 256GB up to 2TB. Design wise, it's a single side NVMe so it can be good for low profile notebooks. It has a thin aluminium alloy heat spreader with gold finish. It acts as a thermal buffer rather than cooling. You can remove the heat spreader and mount to your motherboard's thermal guard or third-party heat sink with high-density fins. I choose to stay as it is for our test. We will take a look at the 512GB variant today, which uses 3D NAND flash that is rated to last 300TB return. If they can double it the TB return for each capacity, it would be great. But for gamers or simple 1080p content creator, this NVMe is fine for daily use. The rated read speed is 3100 MB per second and the write speed of 1500 MB per second. Looking at the Crystal Disk Mark benchmark, read speed still suffers over the rated speeds by an extra 130 MB per second, totaling to 3231 MB per second. Write speed still suffers slightly the rated speed by an extra of 60 MB per second, totaling to 1566 MB per second. Although this benchmark show a peak of 3130 MB per second read speed and a peak of 1470 MB per second write speed. AS SSD benchmark show a peak of 2884 MB per second read speed and a peak of 1395 MB per second write speed. Keep in mind, each test is done 10 minutes apart to allow the NVMe to cool down in air-conditioned room with ambient temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. It's using a real-tech controller that lacks DRAM buffer. To overcome the lack of DRAM cache, the NVMe uses a method called host memory buffer where it uses some of the host system's DRAM instead. This method may have some minor latency from the communication between PCIe lane and DRAM frequently. However, this allows the NVMe to perform better than SSD without DRAM. Thermal throttle is bound to happen. As long as the file transfer doesn't go below 800 megabytes per second, especially transferring large 4K videos, I'll be fine and happy. Here is a 10 gigabyte file transfer test. A 25 gigabyte file transfer test. Thanks for watching my review. If you are interested in these, links in the description below with the updated price if you want to buy them. Do comment where are you guys from and see you guys in the next review. It will be another XPG review. See you!